Here we go then. This is it. Round one of the 2023 season. 23 rounds ahead of us in this Ferrari road to glory or return to glory, if you want to call it that, as we try to bring Ferrari back to the top of Formula One to try and win their first driver's title since 2007 and their first constructor's title since 2008. With that in mind guys, check out the last video, the preseason video and all the updates in the top right link above there. Go check it out before we jump into spoilers, but let's get into it and let's kick off the episode as we jump into the main menu, into our workspace and into the laptop. And we're going to basically run you guys through the brief and all the updates for the new season. Guys, if you're going to enjoy the video, leave a like and subscribe for more daily F1 content. Let's try and smash over 1,250 likes on this video and let's get to it. As you can see, Frederick Vasseur giving us a welcome to the team and letting us know the objective is to try and win. We should have a decent race car underneath you know, us this weekend. Also, to know we have a bunch of upgrades on the car already. However, we had a couple of failures which were meant to be on the aerodynamics. We meant to have two more upgrades on the car this weekend, but they both failed. So we had to repurchase them, but they haven't arrived in time. So those are pending and should arrive for the next race. So until then, we're going to make do with what we've got. And we've still got a decent package. We're second overall behind Red Bull by quite some margin, but we do bring a decent package this weekend and Mercedes third, Aston Martin fourth, very close there with McLaren just behind us. Then there's a bit of a gap to Alpine and the kind of lower half of the midfield. So let's get into it and let's get things started on track for the first time in practice and going through the race strategy program, getting the car into the right window, seeing what we're looking at pace wise and also getting a baseline for the race. With that done, we had overall, I'd say, Okay, tire wear, just above average. Uh, fuel burn quite high, actually. This car seems to be quite a fuel chugger, so we're going to have to bear that in mind for the race. And then, as for practice, a smooth session P6 for us, Leclerc P2. And on mediums, you know, we didn't actually use the softs. I did the race strategy program. Then I did the quick practice to get through some of the other programs to get some of the other discounts onto the car. So you can see here, we're going to get all of these discounts arriving. And hopefully, we can get these upgrades on ASAP. And for the next coming races, have a better package and just try to really make some steps in the right direction. Now, with that done, let's get into it. It's time for qualifying. You guys know, no assists, 110 AI, hardest possible settings, simulation damage, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. Here we are for the first time, suiting up in red, getting ready for qualifying as we get things underway. Now, we start off with a lubrication system fault, which did delay things a little bit and may actually limit us to just two runs rather than three, which was my original intention. So with that in mind, we're going to try and maximize both attempts. This is our first one, currently closing out the lap. And starting off sector three, we made a bit of a mistake, running wide through turn 13 and just getting a bit of understeer. I bottomed down the curb on entry, so I didn't get the apex. Besides that, it was a pretty decent lap, a very smooth lap. And now making our way through the final corner, closing out the lap here. We're going to see what we do as a banker lap. Up to the line we go, and it's a 28-183. P3, two tenths off, shoulder clear, and Verstappen splitting us at this stage. So with two minutes on the clock, we're going to go for one final attempt. We're going to send it and see if we can improve. So let's get into it and enjoy the lap, guys, and the Ferrari engine for the first time.
And there we go, across the line, it's purple, 27-6. And not just that, it's officially pole position in the first qualifying of the season. It would have been a front row lockout, but Charles Leclerc, along with Sergio Perez and Zhou Guan Yu, have five place grid drops. But you can see the car seems quick at the moment, pretty much besides Stroll being out of the top 14, it's almost a two by two by two by two team order there with Aston Martin breaking the train. But overall, a very good first qualifying. The car feels great and we're gonna start the first race on pole with Verstappen alongside in second place. So we're gonna see who comes out on top in the battle of the desert in the first race of the 2023 season, guys. So qualifying done, hopefully Leclerc can fight back and let's get to it. It's time for the main event. Let's send it into the race. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities and it could be a strategic race this one with Sakia notorious for eating up the rear tires. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Martinez lines up on pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Russell, Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Norris, Perez, Gasly, Ocon, Magnussen, Bottas, Stroll, Sonoda, Ricardo, Sargent, Joe, Albon, and Nico Hülkenberg rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today, as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice, and they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Here we go then, time for the race. Can we start off the season in the best way possible? Starting P1, can we convert into a win? Let's find out. Verstappen on the front row alongside us. It's going to be really close and really competitive. All the rivals behind, nothing in front. So let's see how the race goes. Strategy for this one is going to be a simple one-stop. Medium to hard tyre. Very straightforward. Fuel, I've got about 0 0.2 and a half, 0 0.3 in the reserve. So that should hopefully see us over the line. So with that in mind, let's just get into it. Hopefully a nice smooth race. I'm hoping Leclerc can also fight back his way into the podium positions. And yeah, let's get into it and let's send it. Prediction down below, guys. Can we convert into a win? Let me know. Like, subscribe, and let's get to it. Interestingly, Verstappen has elected to go for soft tyres. So aggressive from Red Bull. Possible two-stop? I guess we're going to find out. Here we go. Will this be the season? Ferrari are back on top. Lights out, and away we go. Oh, Verstappen has a terrible start. Leclerc straight up to fourth. Into turn one. A little bit deep there as I try to break late. Leclerc up to third. Hamilton P2 right now. But Verstappen on the soft tyre having a horrific start. Hamilton tries to challenge, but does not have enough of a run to challenge into turn four. So we're going to hold on for now. So we convert our pole into an early lead in this race. And our biggest rival is out of the picture. So that has been pretty much perfect for us. Also, Leclerc up to P3. Brilliant start. And we now have a great opportunity already to make this a 1-2 finish in this race. Hamilton, though, at the minute, trying to put the pressure on here. Just got to try and see if I can get the car into the right window. I hope the fuel, I have calculated it correctly. Hamilton there thought about it, pulled out briefly, then kind of went back behind. But Lewis, aggressive early on, fancying his chances. Just trying to keep it clean a minute and just get my confidence with the heavy fuel tank and then hopefully we can start to 
open up a gap. Not sure what my wings are like compared to the AI in race trim, although it seems like I might be a touch higher. As always, the AI usually burn the ERS in the first two laps. Really good exit out the final corner though, but Hamilton is trying to close. We've got him under control though for now. We're going to use a little bit more. That's a turn one, just to stay ahead. And Hamilton unable to get a run, so I think we have that one covered off for now. Let's try and push now and open up a gap if possible. If we drop Lewis, that will give Leclerc a chance to get DRS. Just starting to open up a gap now to Hamilton, bit by bit. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Lewis will have DRS on this first DRS straight. Not sure if Leclerc is going to have it on him though. Either way, I think now we're going to see the true pace. I'll use the last bit of the battery to try and shake him off here and open a gap. We're pretty strong through here, so we'll try and do it now. Already you can see the delta going up. Well, we're out of battery and I haven't dropped Lewis, so this should be interesting now. We may have a race on our hands. My rears are a little bit loose. I feel like I'm on the limit of temperatures. Verstappen battling with Piastri. Car attempts a little bit higher, they should be right on the hards, but this is going to now bring Lewis back into the fight easily as I'm completely out of charge, so far from ideal now. So this isn't going to be easy, Lewis is not going away just yet. Might have just done it there, that was a really good turn one. Bit of a drift, but might have indirectly helped me there by getting such a good exit. Backhand still fire to me. But this is where I've got to try and break the gap. I've got to try and push through these swooping bends. But Lewis is still hanging in there. The Leclerc's starting to drop back now and we we'll start battling with Alonso. Oh, first moment there. A bit too eager on the throttle. the closest Lewis has been. My rears feel like they're going to overheat, man. I'll get hot any moment. We are on the higher side of temps. Lewis here closing. Must be our margin on fuel now, so we are burning. Good exit, but Hamilton's probably going to go through here. I don't really have any battery to fight this. I'll cover off the inside and send him long, but it's not going to make a difference. So Hamilton into the lead, for now. Front of my pace is pretty good as Alonso goes through on Leclerc. Let's see how this pans out. I'm tempted to sit behind and try and save a bit of fuel and battery to be fair. So I think I might just do that for a couple of laps as we approach the pit window. I think I've got a bit more pace than Hamilton to burn, but I just have no resources to kind of use right now. I am struggling on rears, but I think that issue will go away on the hard tyre in terms of the tyre temp. I'm definitely quicker than Lewis, but I think I'm struggling a little bit more than him on this kind of used or worn tyre phase. Verstappen yet to pit, but maybe now he will. If not, it looks like he's going to try and stretch that one on that soft tyre, which he's still staying out, so he's going long on that soft. Oh, Hamilton wobbling now. I think he's starting to struggle now. We're closing back in. One thing to note further back is that Leclerc has dropped Piastri out of DRS range, so it's a two-way battle for third and a two-way battle for P1. I think I'm going to try and pass Lewis now. I've got enough battery and I've got a bit of fuel saved up, so let's see if we can try and get a good exit here and make it count. Before the pit window, we can make things happen. So here we go. We're going to not use any battery. We'll try and rely on the DRS for the overtake. We're approaching the pit window now and you're going to be on hard next time. Hamilton defends the inside. Breaking a little bit earlier because of the marbles. Bit of a drift on the way through. But we get our nose in front. And we're through, so now let's use a bit of charge to open a gap here on Hamilton. This is the key phase of the race. If we can break the RS now before the pit phase. And Hamilton's made a mistake. We had a moment ourselves, but Hamilton's had a bigger moment and he's lost even more time and we might just break the RS here if I can nail this hairpin and get a good exit. There we go. 
Good timing. Leclerc also passing Alonso further back. So pretty much perfect execution there. Now getting the job done. So I'll try and hold on to this charge. But we don't want to let Hamilton back in DRS now. So let's bring this car into the pits when it's our pit lap. And make sure we can now keep our gap and our lead. Hamilton can't get back in. Verstappen also has not pit, I don't believe, yet. So he's going long on a very long one on softs. Hamilton trying to close here and catch back up. We're just going to use a bit of charge to keep him away. And that should do it for us. Let's race off now and try and get a bit of a gap here. Alonso and Leclerc battling. I think Leclerc has had an issue. Yellow flag. I think Leclerc's out of the race. Or has had a spin. I think he's had a spin. And he's waiting to rejoin. Because he would have retired by now. So Leclerc making a big mistake. Just as he was about to break the one second barrier with Alonso. He was literally at nine and a half tenths, so about to break the RS. He's still on the side of traction. Maybe he has retired. No, now he's going. So he has spun. Well, that's Leclerc. Long gone out of the race now. So it's only us. We're going to box this lap. I was thinking about extending, but in case I get undercut by Lewis, I don't want to take that risk. We've just broken the RS, so we're going to try and maintain that gap. So here we go for the hard tyres for our one and only stop. Good pit entry there, stopping at the right time. Does Lewis box? No, he stays out. Interesting. So we could have actually stayed out there, but that's fine. Onto the hards, 2.3 seconds stop. Surprisingly, everyone's staying out. We've maybe got a bit early here. Perez also pits, so Verstappen, I believe, pit on the last lap on the previous one. He's in traffic right now. So I wonder if they're going to try and stretch it for softs, maybe? Look after these tyres now. You want to finish the race on this compound. I'm going to rejoin here just ahead of Stroll. Critical to be out ahead in clean air. But I just wonder, we'll see. Give it a lap or two, see when these medium runners pit. But I wonder if they might stretch it to a soft. Either way, back on the way then. It's on us to deliver the points before this race. It's a clear, as uh, unfortunately made a big mistake. Oh, another yellow flag. That's behind. The track is clear, green flag. This one seems like a legitimate retirement. That's Lance Stroll. Out of the race. A safety car now, or even a VSC, would be really interesting. But it seems like nothing is going to get called. Hamilton in the pit lane, so we're going to see what gap we have. I've not used any battery. I've just been trusting uh, the fresh rubber to give me a difference in tyre grip. Both Lewis and Fernando go for the hards, so we're all on the same strategy here. And look at that, we've increased our margin by a couple of seconds, so... Good stuff, good pit stop phase. Charles is in the pits. Le Leclerc does need a safety car now though, badly. Or a VSC. Wouldn't mind one for his race and for him to try and fire back. Either way, back into net P1. And now all the remaining cars are into the pits, which means we're going to get the lead back. I'm going to push now for a fast lap of the race. We currently own it. Let's try and push and go a bit quicker than that, if possible. Well then, excellent lap. Battery all the way to the line. And there we go, 30.4. We'll see what Verstappen and Perez do on mediums. Alonso dealing with Red Bulls front and behind. We're going to go back into charge mode now and uh, just manage a few on the battery for the rest of the race. We've got a nice, healthy margin. And I assume that the Red Bulls in principle are not taking the fast lap away from us. Let's see what Leclerc does. Either way, we're looking pretty decent right now as... Alonso overtakes Verstappen, and now Verstappen back through, so they're battling behind, so we'll see what happens then, who comes out on top. I think Verstappen might have damage. Alonso overtook him, and in the process I reckon something happened because Alonso drove off, Perez has overtaken Verstappen, and now Russell has overtaken Verstappen, whereas Perez is still holding on, so Max dropping, which is big for the championship already in the first race. Leclerc making no progress, stuck in traffic. So a few laps to go then, the race very much under control and we're now entering non-safety car window which means nothing can spoil this race for us now so let's bring the car home. Here we go then, last lap of the race, nice second stint, nice and smooth, 
everything on the control. We saved up to 75% battery. Now we're just using a little bit here to just show Lewis the gap and the kind of pace we had saved up. Lewis did get down to about 3.7, but just didn't get close enough. Leclerc down in P16. Could be P15 on the last lap, but a disappointing fight back from him in the final stint. Either way, job done. Pretty much perfect weekend, and we win in Bahrain. Thank you. I need a moment. Ah, oh, fantastic drive. That's just fantastic. Amazing. You deserve that race win. Well done, mate. Smiling faces on the pit wall then after that superb win here at Sakir. And rightly so, a brilliant effort from the whole team. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. So then, season opener in the books, job done, very smooth race and smooth weekend overall pole, fastest lap and race win. We didn't quite get the Grand Chalem leading every single lap, but we'll take it. It will do decent points haul. And the big one is really Mercedes. They snuck under the radar, but got decent points and came away with 30 points overall. So they're going to be actually the constructors leaders heading out of round one. If we scroll down a little bit, just to confirm, Charles Leclerc finished in P16, so disappointing race from him. If we look at the standings, you can see, of course, the drivers is the same as the race results, but we also got the fastest lap in the constructors. Second place, four points behind Mercedes and Red Bull 10 adrift. So good start. We'll take it. Like, subscribe. We go to round two, guys, and continue marching on, and we'll see what happens in the next one. Cheers for watching, guys. As always, a big shout out to the members of the channel for supporting all the content that I make. As always, check out the two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them already. And yeah, guys, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and it's goodbye from me.